Hey guys, Andrea. In this video, I'm gonna show you. Oh, I'm not gonna show. I keep saying I'm gonna show you guys. I'm not gonna show you guys anything. I'm gonna tell you guys the bad stuff, the good stuff, and the whatever stuff you can find in your shampoos and cleansers and styling products. The ones that are bad. There's a lot of stuff that are bad in there, but I just the stuff that you can easily look for if they have them and if they don't, that's good. Because if I give you guys everything, you probably will not buy anything from the store. Cause obviously not everything can be natural and good and flowers and perfumes these are things that you should do nothing that i do uh, uh obviously we all do things that we didn't still do what you like starting with the cleansers cleansers i mean like the light shampoo especially when you have curly hair or hair with texture you don't want to take all the moisture that it has because it already doesn't have much moisture to begin with right so look for self free, free shampoos right obviously you guys have seen that coming look for self free free shampoos and those usually are sodium lauryl sulfate uh that's the best detergents those are really detergents that you can find and stuff to wash stuff and get rid of everything in the hair and usually they get rid of the moisture your natural moisture that you have in your hair so that's why your hair must be really really dry if you wash your hair all the time especially dry hair ammonium laureth sulfate this is just harsh as well sodium laureth sulfate Laureth and there's Lauro. So those are really harsh detergents that you can find in your cleansers. Make sure they don't have them. Really simple. You don't have to look a lot for like every single ingredient. Let's talk about conditioners. Look for botanical conditioners, right? These are probably the ones that have the plant-based ingredients. That's why I love Shea Moisture. Those plant-based ingredients must be something like mint, rosemary, or lemongrass these ingredients will basically like create a like protective layer around your hair cuticle to protect your hair and keep the moisture to keep shining and your hair keep looking healthy these stuff basically focus on the moisture on your hair to keep the moisture on your hair make sure these ingredients and based ingredients there are the first ingredients that you see in your ingredient list because if they're not um, you know make sure they're the first half midway because they're not the like last ones or almost the last ones that means there's not many amount of them in it and it's just almost like not having them in them right look for conditioners that have emollients because they usually just make your hair look really smooth and they soften your hair and they make them look frizzless and the emollients that i'm talking about are usually the ones that have shea butter right vegetable oil olive oil yes yeah, stuff that i already use walnut oil jojoba oil that's how i say jojoba wheat germ yes germs are good for your hair all right, humectant. Yes, I'm probably not even pronouncing that right, but I wrote it up. They basically absorb the water from the atmosphere, you know, from the air, and they just hang on to it. These are products that you really need in your hair because they keep the moisture, right? And these are usually the panthenol, the vegetable glycerin, and the sorbitol. Moisturize. You guys know I always use a moisturize before I apply my styling product. Could be gel. But yeah, I always use my moisturizer. The one that I'm using right now is by Shea Moisture, the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. They soften your hair. And those could be amino acids, olive oil, aloe vera, almond extracts, propylene glycol, all right? Look for those ingredients in your conditioners to stay away from. Silicone. 99% of your shining products, they have silicone. 99% of them, guys. It's a synthetic material that many conditioners have. And it's not really good for your hair because they basically... I'm gonna tell you my explanation of it, right? They basically keep the moisture in your hair and they don't let whatever you're putting in here, like whatever that product that have silicone, it, it could be moisturizing, but it stays in your hair. It does not come off, right? And the only way to take it off is with the sulfic shampoo, which is kind of contradicting yourself. You're trying to be good, but if you mess up on the conditioner, you need a sulfate shampoo to take it off. You know what I mean? They usually use silicone in products like rubber, plastics, and nail polishes, it just gives to give that shine effect. Those are the products that contain silicone. Actually made to like repel water. Once that product is in, it'll prevent your hair from absorbing any other moisture, any more moisture. So I also said that silicone can weight your hair now, preventing them from, you know, going up and forming the curls, which sometimes I don't mind my hair being weight, like the weight of my hair, bringing my hair to become longer because it does prevent my hair from becoming really shrinkable, right? And really short. So sometimes I don't mind products weighing down my hair. I really don't. Silicones really weigh down your hair and it prevents your curls from forming. It's a fact. Also look for parabens. And parabens, they're usually in cosmetic. They're, it's like a preservative. And also they use in foods and drugs. And they basically just make sure that whatever it's used in 
to make sure it doesn't create bacteria that's why they use it These ingredients with paraben look for the end word paraben right propyl paraben methyl paraben butyl paraben i want to say booty paraben butyl paraben all right so let's talk about gels i i was one of the people that thought gel was completely bad for your hair especially if your hair is curly or any type of hair is bad and especially if you're curly you actually gel is good for your hair it keeps your curls intact and looking beautiful and gives them hold right it's all right to use gels i learned that yes alcohol is bad so those i'm, so, I'm talking about styling products guys so those stuff are really bad for your hair alcohol but there's some alcohol that's actually good for your hair right settle alcohol settle alcohol is okay if there are in cleansers good in cleansers but i heard if they're in gels um they're actually not that good for your hair they're actually very very drying make sure you stay away from alcohol when it comes to your products in general the gels make sure um you know gels can actually stay in your hair for one day or two it can be very dry for your hair all the alcohol is just gonna suck up the moisture out of your hair but yeah, well, that's the only one I'm going to point out for alcohols that are bad. But some of them are really good. Just do more research, alright? Make sure it's alcohol free for the most part. Because you just save your time from even going to look which ones are good or which ones are bad. Alcohol free, just make it easier, right? Folate. Sorry, I'm not pronouncing them right, but I wrote them up for you. So yeah, these are usually used in plastics for longevity. Yeah, to like prolong. And actually, a lot of them are actually being banned because of health issues, right? So yeah guys, these are the ingredients, the main ingredients that I'll tell you guys to stay away from. And by the way, if your gel is kind of harsh, make sure you can dilute it with some water. Get a spray bottle, get gel, and you can add as much as you need for the, you know, the strength as that you want, right? This is about it. Simple ingredients that you can look for in your, your products. Recap, your cleansers, make sure they don't have sulfate. I already told you guys different types of sulfate that you guys can look for. Make sure they're not in your cleansers. Conditioner, make sure they do have emollients, mectants. And moisturizers and for your conditioners make sure they got no silicone styling products gel included make sure they don't have alcohol silicone as well parabens and phthalate 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 by the way guys a lot of products might consider themselves natural products but they're not fully natural herbal or full of botanical ingredients right? putting that natural on the products but are not really keeping count of whatever is natural in the product really much so obviously they're like greenwashing your brain putting that those words botanical words to make it think the product's all natural but some of them are really not all natural you know if you do see usda that means 95 percent of those products are organic that's a good thing hey guys this is it these are the ingredients you should stay away from when it comes to your hair products and thank you for watching bye don't forget to click to watch one of my previous videos Conditioning the hair very, very well, that also can prevent tangles big time. Just very shiny hair.